Your news in brief for Wednesday the 15th of February. The government are celebrating today having found another section of society they can blame all their ills on. As in a public display of soberness, David Cameron announces he's to tackle the drinking culture in Britain by issuing police officers with rolled up newspapers and the power to rub people's noses in the mess they leave. If only you could tax ignorance, bottle apathy and sell teenage urine, we'd be able to spend our way into another boom period. The unemployment figures are released today, announcing that 2.7 million people are now unemployed, a million of those between the ages of 16 and 24. In a response, the Princess Trust have announced 100 positions of job ambassadors, young people paid to point out the job opportunities in the area to other young people, essentially pointing out the job centre. It's that building over there with a big queue of young people stood outside of it. A sad day in Scottish football as Rangers go into administration and are docked 10 points. The knock-on effect in Scottish football will mean that now Celtic will win everything. The knock-on effect in England will mean that there'll be more Scottish pundits on Match of the Day. Sad day indeed. On this day in history, in 1906, the Labour Party were first organised. And apart from a brief stint after the Second World War, it would be the last time they would be so. The coins in your pocket turned 41 today as decimalisation took place on this day in 1971. And he, with the yellow crayons and the creator of The Simpsons, Matt Groening, is 58 today. This has been your News in Brief for Wednesday the 15th of February.